Well, hello there, friends. I'm back. It's me, Ari. Uh, welcome back to uh, Hob Homes and Gardens is the, uh, the the title I've decided to go with for this series. I have been very busy off camera, but this episode is it's taken a lot longer to come out than you might have expected. Uh, it's definitely taken a lot longer to come out than I expected. Let me get up close to my face here. It's kind of weird. I'm, I'm looking off into the distance wistfully. I'm not really looking at you. Um, what took so long? Well, um, Part of it was that I was making a video for another game, and I only had two days to make that video, and it was frantic and crazy, so that sucked up my energy for a few days. Uh, part of it is, I ran into a bit of a problem. So, one of the things, one of my goals in this series, is to get real good with the chisel. Practice using the chisel, use the chisel lots and lots, um, and make a little hobbit, a little hobbit village, right? Good stuff. Well, here's the thing, friends. I've encountered a problem. I encountered a problem. I made just a whole slew of copper tools. I got backups here. I had to make a whole bunch of tool racks. If I take the chisel, I made myself a chisel. If I take the chisel, one of the things that you need for a hobbit village, everything is covered in grass, right? Everything's covered in, 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 in a little thin layer of grass over the roofs of the houses so that they look like they're under hills. But to use the chisel, you right click the block to make it chiselable, and then you, you right click, you right click the block. Right click the block, right, right clicking the block makes it, makes it chiselable. Are you seeing the problem here, my friends? Are you seeing, are you seeing the problem? This is an awkward angle for me to be talking to you. Uh, the problem is, grass blocks are not chiselable. No, they're not chiselable. Uh, they have been made unchiselable. Um, apparently the reason for this is that now that the grass blocks change color from season to season, from month to month, with the weather, with the seasons update, uh, the code no longer can deal with the, the, the texture of the grass, because it's changing, and if you have grass blocks inside of other materials, it might not. It's gonna look weird. Meep's over here, by the way. I haven't abandoned him. He's just chilling, just chilling in a little hut. Um, so I can't chisel grass blocks, which puts a huge damper on my plans for this village. So I have spent several days um, coming up with a solution. I'll, I'll hold on to the chisel there. Uh, first of all, obviously I've been very busy. I've got whole whole bunches of materials. I've got a bunch of seeds. I need to make a farm. Time has come to make a farm, my friends. I got a bunch of uh, boards, which I used to make these chests. Tons of wood. I've been clearing trees from around here, just kind of getting prepared, getting ready. I've got a whole bunch of food, by the way, in here. I buried it so it doesn't spoil on me. So it'll spoil pretty quickly otherwise. We got a whole bunch of stew. We got some other food in there. Things are just. Uh, I'm in good shape. We're in good shape for for starting the game here. Uh, what I did, what I managed to do, with the help of some people from the community and just a lot of tinkering and playing around with the files, um, I have modded in a new block, which I will use specifically for the aesthetics of uh, my little hobbit village, and that block is called AstroTurf. <laughs> I don't know how to change the way the, um, the name appears in the game, but there's some kind of registry somewhere and I can't find it. So... Um, if you know, if you know how to do that, please let me know, leave a comment. Tell me how I change that from game colon block dash astroturf to just the name that I would type in somewhere. So I put this down. This is not the same color as the rest of the soil. I made this texture by myself. Uh, it functions like dirt in the sense that it can be punched, that it uh, can be mined very quickly with a shovel, which is great. It makes the right noises and everything. However, this is fake grass. It's artificial. The color is obviously wildly artificial, which I thought was appropriate. On top of that, uh, it cannot be hoed or used for farming. It's just a decorative block. However, if I right-click this baby, <gasps> It's chiselable. I can I can take whole chunks out of there. Now there is you know it's not the greatest situation because uh, now I can change it very easily so that the interior has a different texture than the exterior. In which case I could chisel away the top and it would reveal dirt underneath. The problem with that is I want the grass on the top. However however the block winds up right. So I'm just gonna have to uh, work around this kind of appearance. Uh, but we got- I got chiselable grass now. That's what I was trying to do. If anybody wants this, if anyone wants this, it's not difficult to make, uh, but if you want the files and the, uh, textures and everything like that, you want your own AstroTurf in your game, leave a comment, let me know, and I will make sure that gets available to everybody. So, that's my- oh, of course after you've chiseled a block. This is a fun fact about Vintage Story. Once you've chiseled a block, it becomes stone, according to the game's code. So you have to pick 
it up like that, and it will no longer stack with the others, even though it looks exactly the same. So I've got two chests full of this, which I spawned in in creative mode. These will just be used for decoration. I don't feel bad about this. I'll have to put the I'll put the other one right here as a sample. There we go. There's our sample of AstroTurf. Uh, other thing that I've done is I came down here. I am using the mod um, salt production so that I can I can make salt without having to find halite. And I've just set up some barrels with some water in them. You seal them for 10 days and you get, I believe, 10 uh, salt, 10 salt from one barrel after 10 days. So it's, it's not a high production method, but until I find some halite by mining, uh, that is gonna be it. A uh, couple of the things I didn't mention last time. First of all, how did I get Meep in here? Um, I did not make Meep in this world. I made Meep in a creative world, and then I exported him and then imported him using the game's built-in world edit commands. You can you can build something in a creative world, export it, and then import it into any world where you have admin privileges. So if you're playing single player, you have admin privileges. If you're playing on a server, you would need to be an admin to, to do that. Um, I just thought you might want to know that. So that's why I had Meep already at the start, is uh, because I cheated him in. Because it's just a, it's just a decoration block. This is it's not a problem. I'm, so, I'm not I'm not breaking the game. Um, another thing, I said that uh, the reason I chose this seed, this world. God, it's so this game's so dang beautiful. Let's just look at the. I guess the sun is setting. Let's look at the sunset for a moment. Uh, the reason I chose this game world. Um, was because of chalk, and then I never explained, uh, because we are not obviously in a chalk biome. How do I know there's chalk? I have not found chalk on the, there we go, on the map, on a whole bunch of other stuff. Lots of copper, we got our bees, uh, lead, here's those ruins over here that we explored before, so I haven't gone very far. Um, this is all sandstone biome, however, underneath the surface, as I discovered in creative mode, while I was looking for uh, a world and exploring the different seeds, uh, there is a layer of chalk underneath the sandstone, just a thin layer of chalk. That's going to be important, that'll be important for leather, and that'll be important for plaster, as I mentioned. Plaster is something I'm going to need, because we make little hobba houses. So, um, that is, that's where, we're, that's where we're getting started here. Whew, finally ready to start building. Um, I have done a little bit of fiddling in, in a creative mode world, just like with the chisel, figuring out some nice ways to make doors and stuff, but I do need a lot of materials first before I can make the kind of house that I want to. Right now, the only materials I basically have, I have the different types of wood, I've got sandstone available to me, and that's about it, and of course the astroturf. I'm gonna need to go exploring and find other types of material. I really want to find uh, what's what's the what's that beautiful orangish reddish stone that I, I used to complain about not being usable as a block, and then they made it usable as a block, which made me very very happy. Uh, I, I, it's not cinnabar. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's. What is the uh, blocks blocks and items? Can we find rock? Just call it rock. I'll find it. Bauxite. That's the one. Definitely want to find bauxite, very important to me. I am going to want to make some plaster. Uh, to make plaster, we need, it's not that difficult actually, we just need quicklime and sand. Now sand, I think I found, there's a little bit of a deserty area not far from here. Quicklime is made from lime, lime is made from grinding, uh, in this case chalk. That's why we chose this place, because we want the chalk. So I do need to make a quern to do that, and that's going to have to be done by hand for a while. Uh, and then from there, we can eventually, once we build some flax, plant some flax and all that, we can build a windmill and then we can automatically power our corn and that will be very helpful. So there's a lot of stuff that I need to do, but look at this place. You guys look at this place. This isn't going to do it. So even though I can't make my dream hobbit home just yet, I am going to spend some time this episode building a proper underground base. Just like our little, our first little, like a hobbit hovel. I'm going to go to bed sleep in this aged wooden bed for nine and a half hours. I'm gonna make my first little hobbit hovel. And uh, that is, it's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be a final form or anything like that, but we, we're still getting established. I need to plant my food, need to make a garden, and I need to make my first little hovel. So as soon as, there we go, we get up here. Oh, I slept pretty late. I was only six in the morning. I guess it's cause it's uh, springtime. Also, uh, one last thing I wanna mention about this world is I did start off in a warm biome so it will not snow here and it won't get too too cold in the winter so uh, just a heads up about that I do like the weather mechanics and all that um, but I'm very hungry I'm a hobbit I gotta have second breakfast uh, this isn't gonna be a harsh place to live 
during the winter because I, I just don't want to worry about that. This is going to be mainly a building series. So it's a little bit survival, but it's mainly building. All right, I need to get to work. Let's go. Well, it's not much, but it'll do for a start. We've got our first little hobbit hovel, and a hovel it truly is. We've still got uh, astroturf ceilings. Uh, it's not very big. This area will eventually just be like a little entryway. And of course, it'll be fixed up so that we don't have dirt exposed in the middle. We'll use the chisel. We'll make things look nicer. Obviously, we've got a fence around here, but it's not much protection because anything can come just jumping down off the roof. I am hoping that the torch holder will keep the torch burning even if it gets rained on, but if not, then we'll move that if we need to. I started moving down the, uh, all the metalworking stuff. Some of it's still up there. It's, uh, it's now 920. And I kind of feel like I don't want to, uh, I don't want to sleep in that, that very comfy bed or I might oversleep. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to quickly throw together a straw bed. It only takes 18 pieces of dried grass. Is it called dried grass? Dry grass. It is. Look at me. I'm a pro. Uh, and then we'll sleep in that and that won't pass quite as much time. You may have heard some, some fun little sound effects. Seems we've got wolves nearby, my friends, which makes sense. Usually in these mushroom forest type biomes, uh, there are... One more. One more. There we go. Uh, there are wolves that spawn in this area. I do, as I mentioned before, have the difficulty set to uh, passive for the mobs. So they shouldn't attack me unless I get real, 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 real close to them. Like, way, way too close. It, it, inappropriately close. Really? Really. Did I just do that? You guys didn't see that. That didn't happen. Don't tell anybody. You saw nothing. Let's go take a nap and uh, let's get some sunlight. Oh, good morning. And yes, the sun is already up at 6 a.m. How nice is that? It's winter right now in my hemisphere. Uh, I'm looking at the AstroTurf. Now, I did intend for it to look a little artificial, but it may be a little bit too bright. You guys leave comments, you let me know. Should I adjust the color? It'd be very easy to adjust the color of the AstroTurf. Just change the texture up a little bit. Um, I'm tempted to leave it like this, just as a, a show of how artificial it is. But on the other hand, it would be nice to have the place actually look pretty and not entirely artificial. Uh, so leave your, leave your votes in the comments. What do you think? We'll figure this out. Um, I did put the food that I had with me in here because it was all starting to spoil. I cooked up some poultry, 
as quickly as I could because it was almost entirely spoiled. Get a little nutrition out of that. I do need to make... Look at that. We need to make a proper cellar inside of our house, of course. All this is still still needs to be, you know, finished up. But we've got a safe place to sleep and to keep our stuff at the very least. Uh, before we spruce up the Hobbit hovel too much, uh, we need to go over and we need to start planting seeds and making a farm. I think down this area down here where I've got the salt will be a nice place because it's fairly flat. So I'm going to go grab my seeds. So as I'm placing these, uh, these final fences, it occurs to me that I really didn't need to do it this way. I didn't need to do this awkward thing where you're building along the edge of the water because you don't have a bucket. I have a bucket! I can just build a farm somewhere, but you know what? It's too late. I've already started this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with it for my first batch of crops. I'm just gonna have them here. Friends, this is not enough. Oh, really? Really? You're gonna, you're gonna play me like that, huh? Alright, fine. I don't even mind. Just have an extra seed. We'll leave those. They'll take some time to grow. I keep coming up here. My chests aren't up here anymore. Ari, the down there. They're inside your house. It's actually less convenient <laughs> than what I had before. It's all about the aesthetics. And the more I think about the aesthetics, the more I think I may, I may adjust that astroturf. Just a little bit and make it a little prettier. These chests are already a, a shambles. Things are all over the place. They are not organized enough. I have a lot of work to do, my friends. Uh, but I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. Wait. Oh, hold on a sec. No. No, we're not done. We're not done for today. We got time. We got time and I, I, I got something to say. Hey. Um, this is AstroTurf. I've been looking at it all this time, and I've been thinking, man, I don't, I don't remember making it that bright, but hey, you know, whatever. I made a goofy texture, hey, it's fun, we'll either fix it or we won't, it's, it's all good. Uh, I finished recording for this episode, or I thought I did, and uh, I went and I looked at the texture that I made. My friends, it is not this bright. It is, it is not even close to this bright. It is, it is a nice green texture. I'm going to put the texture up on the screen. Uh, hold on, let me... Let me just point point my face down. We'll take this off. There's there's okay. My shadow is still there. This is what the texture looks like in the game, and this is what it looks like in the file. This is the file. This is the texture that I made. Now it's still a little bit bright, but it's not it's not like this. This is this is not the texture I made. What on earth happened? Well, my friends, another reason why this video is so gosh dang delayed. Uh, is because it wasn't just a, a matter of getting the AstroTurf block in the game at all, which did take a, a few days. It's also a matter of there's something wrong with the texture. And uh, I've been asking around in my community, and I had some members of my community go and ask on the Vintage Story Discord, and I've been asking around. Um, and it seems that this is everybody who, who tries to use these textures has this problem. It doesn't seem to matter how you make the textures or where the textures come from. It seems to be the color green. Anything that is green that you put on a texture for a block it turns into this sort of bright neon beta Minecraft sort of nightmare. And uh, it doesn't matter what you do, that happens every single time. Other colors seem to look fine, it's just the green. And uh, I tried to mess around with it, tried to get it to work. I had a whole bunch of people, a little army of people trying to help me get it to work. And uh, one person seems to have found at least partial success. Uh, that person was, I, I don't know how to say their name correctly, uh, uh, Nehev? N -n -n Nehev? Neheve. Nehev. Nehave. Neheve. Uh, that person created a new texture, which it still doesn't look great, and that's not their fault, uh, because there is something wrong with the green colors on the block textures. Um, however, they, they provided a texture which at least looks reasonably close to the color that we're going for. And so I'm gonna switch to that, and it's gonna happen instantaneously with the magic of video editing. Oh my goodness. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, here it is. So here's the texture. Again, huge thank you to Nehevneev? Nehev? However you pronounce your name, I apologize, I'm sure all of those were wrong. This still looks artificial, but that's actually fine. I'm fine with it looking artificial. Um, at least it, it looks like 
grass, more or less. And again, this this doesn't look, this is not what the texture looks like. I'll put, I'll put, we'll do this. I'll put the original texture up on the screen. As you can see, it's a lot darker. Something about the game's engine is taking the greens and, and messing them up real good. I don't know why this is. I don't know if it has something to do with the season's update uh, and the way that the grass textures are rendered or what. I will, I will say the, the grass blocks, the AstroTurf blocks, are not in any way labeled as grass in the system. I have them labeled as wood. They are in the wood category. They are material type wood. I did originally have it as soil, but then I changed it to wood to make sure that wasn't what was causing the problem. And it definitely wasn't because it's still doing this weird render thing. Hopefully this is just a bug that the developers will be able to fix up at some point as of the recording of this video. This is what we got. Um, I can live with this. I can live with this. It looks better than the beta Minecraft bright, bright, bright green texture. Uh, again, huge thank you to have and huge apologies for the pronunciation of your name. Uh, I'm going to put links to their stuff. They've got a YouTube channel and stuff as well. Go and check that out uh, and give them some love and some thanks for this vastly improved texture. Um, that is going to be what we use for now, and we will see if we can get something better in the future. It's pretty much going to be dependent on, on the tests themselves. Uh, but that is, unfortunately, all the time we've got for this video. I am profoundly disappointed with myself for the house that I have made. I apologize to all of you for this. Let's come out here. The gates don't have the, uh... Oh, there is a little bit of a sound. Very quiet gates. I expect to squeak every time, and I don't get it. Uh, but this, this is what we got so far. It looks terrible. Um... So, I gotta decide whether my next video is going to be an adventure for better materials, right? We're gonna find bauxite and all that stuff that I wanna use and get some plaster made and all that sort of thing. Or whether I'm gonna prioritize making this house look less horrible. Um, I'm gonna talk to Meep about it, we're gonna have a meeting, but I also wanna know what you think. So, uh, please leave your comments below and let me know what you would prefer to see. Would you prefer to see an adventure into the distance looking for materials, or would you prefer to see this house get fixed up and looking a little bit more livable first? Whoa! Get out of my head. And then we'll go for an adventure after that. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! I said get out of my head! Thank you.